good morning it's just 11 16 on the 21st of august and i've come down to the canal today for a spot of pole fishing um, same stretch as i fished previously but a different swim i've moved a couple of hundred yards along the bank here today i've already baited up there's been quite a number of boats have come past I've been baiting up but it is the height of the season so it's what you would expect and I'm just about to have the first put in I've actually found a swim today where I can park the car right behind me, you'll probably see it on the camera, which is quite unusual. Instead of the usual couple of hundred yard walk that I have. So I've not fished here before, so I don't know what it's like at all. Haven't seen any fish activity yet. apart from further up when I was having a look about. But I'm hoping for a few roach, some bream, some hybrids, perhaps some rudd as well. See how it compares to the last time I came down here, last month when it was mega hot and the fishing was quite poor. Gone in quite positive at the moment. And starting right down on the bottom. And I'm about a float's length over depth, so about five inches, five, six inches at the moment. Mainly because with all of the boat traffic the water's quite coloured up at the moment. So I mean there we go, I'm expecting fish to be down. Ugh. Near the bottom, there's the first one. It looks like a little roach. That's encouraging. There we are. It's always good to get the first one. in two pots of mashed bread and I'm fishing punch bread on the hook mainly because I hadn't gone to the tackle shop I didn't get any maggots or anything I might have fished some squat lace ground bait and perhaps a few pinkies but I'll stick with this a good thing about mash bread and bread in general is it's nice and cheap it makes for a cheap day out if you catch well on it And I'm fishing just on top of the shelf on the far side at the moment. And if I come forward about six, eight inches, I'm just start dropping down the shelf. So might have to move to there a little bit later on. Or I might have to retreat further back. We'll see how the fishing goes. I can see a few fish there, but got skimmer this time. I was thinking I might have 
have to go a little bit further back. Supposed to be out, even if they're not warm enough for our own. Well, looks like we've got a roach. I've had about five or six boats come past on the trot. Must be lunchtime. Oh, it could be a nice rud actually. I think I'll net this one. Had about half a dozen skimmers, a couple of roach, and yes, and uh, this rod. I've noticed a lot of these in the canal just of late. This one's very lively, aren't it? but there's been a bit of an explosion of these just of late so that's good to see a few years back we've been hard pressed to find a road uh, rod on the um, canal down here Quite quiet today though. Wind's a bit of a pain, it's making presentation a little bit difficult. I've tried shallowing up, it didn't really do a great deal, so I'm staying with laying on the bottom and so I'll try and keep the bait a little bit still. But I am hoping as time ticks on and it cools off a little bit, there'll be a few big official put in an appearance. And I'm glad it's cooled off a little bit because it was absolutely boiling earlier. Ooh, just in time because here comes a boat. There's a little skimmer putting in an appearance. That one's swingable. Let the 
boat go past before I pull this out. Good afternoon. lunch and they're on the move again. Let's see if we can get a fish before this one comes along. Oh, there's a cattle again. Just putting in an appearance. I think with losing the sun it would really have improved it but it doesn't seem to have made that much difference at the moment. Oh, we've got another one just before that boat came along. Another little skimmer by the looks of it. It's been mainly skimmers today. The roach are very noticeable by their absence. been quite a busy place really with road traffic and dog walkers and hikers afternoon of the fish has been genuinely small. Right, I'll put the camera off for a bit. Oh well, we've got another one. It's been very difficult today, really, trying to build a swim. This looks like a, the biggest fish of the day, so I'll take my time with this. There's been absolutely nothing up in the water whatsoever. Mind you, it's no surprise when the water's been as coloured as it is. With the volume of boats. But you expect that this time of year. As I said, it is peak boating season. This is, uh, looks like a... Uh, was a nice bream or skimmer of about a pound that was but he's decided to leave the restaurant without paying never mind that was encouraging anyway try again While I'm here, I will just show this. Now, the shotting pattern I've settled on, eventually, uh, three number tens, about five inches above the hook, and they're just about touching bottom. I've got a small shot, uh, number 10 above that, um, two inches below the float and that's just shows me where dead depth is so I'm just fishing a couple of inches over depth at the moment and that's really the only way I've been able to get bites today there's been nothing on the drop 
canal's been pushing through quite hard obviously because the locks keep opening and closing and with the wind and trying to keep the pole steady here comes another boat now there's three ducks as well and uh, trying to keep the pole steady I'm more or less having to just lay on the bottom but at least we are getting a couple of fish that's the main thing but it's been hard work but as I said this time of year it's what you expect really Minute till that boat comes past. It's one thing I've noticed you don't get many slow down now. not just that the water's coloured, the biggest problem really is the fact that, oh, I missed that one, is that um, your bait constantly gets spread all over the place, it's hard to keep fish concentrated. Nettable roach. That's been rare today, I can tell you. Boat traffic is quieting down a little bit, so it's been a little bit better. me up. There we are, not massive but compared to what I've been catching it's quite good. Need a few more of those. I think I might pot a bit more baiting in a minute. This is the last bit that I've got because the boat's not coming along at the moment. The canal's not moving too much. That's been the problem really, and the colour in the water and the fact that every time you just get the swim built up and going, along comes two or three boats. But it's something you have to put up with if you want to do this sort of fishing. And I do enjoy fishing the canals. I know it's a complete contrast to going carp fishing, which I also enjoy, along with lots of other fishing for other species and other types of fishing whether it be fly fishing or sea fishing but yeah it's funny you look across the other side now and I can already see that the colours dropped out of the water there and it's only probably been about 20 minutes since the last boat came past. Really having to sit on my hands a bit and and let bites develop and let the float go right away. Because typically in um, 
there's one only small but there's one typically um, as it is during the the warmest part of the day the bites just became really finicky and I was down to the four mil punch it's very rare for me to actually use a four mil punch on the canal another roach again glad they've put in an appearance oh, I think they'll have struggled to amass a couple of well I don't know about a couple of pound of fish probably about a pound of fish today still won't be we won't be getting the hot weather for too much longer even if we get an Indian summer it will still be quite cool in the morning and cool of an evening so <clears throat> can't put complain it's been good for topping up the vitamin D there's trouble over the far side here you don't half have to take things a bit slowly and carefully when you putting in or you soon find yourself wrapped around a overhanging branch or a bramble bush over the far side. I've got a four to six elastic on which is probably a little bit over gun but I was hoping some bigger fish would move in. I'd have been better off really, really with a three to four. Well, it's been very quiet for ages now, but I've just had another fish. I think I'm going to call this the last one. My sort of five hours are up. Looks like it's a reasonable roach. Nettable anyway. It certainly looks like it might be about the, oh, actually it's a skimmer best fish of the day I think so oh, no. I've probably got a couple of pound of fish I'll just hold this up if it's not going to be too lively which it seems to want to be. It's a hybrid actually I think, but anyway. A good fish to end the session on. It's not been the most productive day I've ever had, but it's not been the worst either. So, it's been nice being out. And I'm glad we lost that sun that we had earlier because it really was too warm then. But anyway, that's going to do. I'm going to put those fish back in a moment and get the gear into the car, which is only over there, and uh, for a change, and make my way back home. So, once again, thank you for watching, and until the next time, all the best with your angling.